Mai takes a really close look at the global tribe. Who are we right now based on everything that we've known from all of societies and projecting a little bit that we think we know we're going to be in the future, what does that mean? We've looked very much at the technology and the knowledge and science that the world has at its fingertips right now, you know, genetic science, quantum physics. So I've also, with the University of Sydney, spoke to professors in the Department of Physics and had meetings with them and they've actually come in and become part of the creative process where I, I, I'd work with them on choreography and I'd talk through different process of evolution and anthropology and it's all feeding into the work. Pi is an infinite, non-repeating decimal meaning that every possible number combination exists somewhere in Pi. I went to Nick Wales and I said, if society was to deconstruct now, um, and if we were to regroup and form a, a tribe or a society or rebuild, and if we created music, what would that sound like? Over the course of Am I, I've tried to kind of blur the lines between world music, old music and new music to try to find some, something that sort of sits in between in a kind of musical no man's land. And it was really about finding a sound that was human. So we, we were really drawn to more world music. The instruments are acoustic, but they're also tampered with electronically. Just as in modern day now, our ear, we hear all sorts of things. We hear acoustic instruments, we hear electronic sounds, and that fusion was really important for us. When I've been writing the music for Am I, it's, I've been trying to think of wh what it is to be human, and one of those things is this pulse, this, this heartbeat or this pulse that goes through the work. And I, I think that sort of ties us in with the dancers because they have an internal rhythm that they work on. The music will just keep pulsing out and, and creating this sort of trance-like effect, I hope. That music will then trigger a different part of your mind, particularly with the vocalisation that he's using. It's tribal, it's like a cult, it's like animals. There's elements of monkey sounds, a baby lion. What does all of this sound like? What does the sound of the Big Bang, what would that sound like? What would the hum of the universe sound like? So these are all of the things that we're working into the music as well as, as the dance. I love working with Sean because he brings a lot of great ideas into the dance work. It's, it's not just pure movement, there's a lot of theatrical ideas and, and themes that are brought into the work. And Am I is different from stuff we've done in the past because there's some narration, that sounds really cheesy, but there's kind of, there's spoken word that tie a lot of the concepts of the work together and makes it very tangible for, for anyone watching it. Converted to text, it contains the DNA sequences for every human that will ever live, the name of every person that you will ever love, the date, time and manner of your death and all of the words that you will utter in your lifetime. Damien Cooper is our lighting designer and um, I'm working with him closely on developing a very epic wall. It's almost like if you had had to communicate through lights, and we worked with a lot of abstract ideas like pulse and um, big bang and collision and retreat, and that will be also be almost become part of the dramaturgy in the work as well, to have this wall which the dancers respond to and the musicians respond to.
I think one of my favourite things is to work with live musicians and singers within a dance theatre framework. There, there's nothing like it. And the dancers, they actually can see their bodies open up. They dance, they're more articulate, they're more visceral. They dance harder. They dance much harder and you can feel it in the room. The subject matter is epic, but the underpinning of all of this keeps coming back to a, a very pure simplicity because in you know, the very high digital world that we're living in now, we're still a tribal culture. We're, we're desperate for connection. We still want that connection. And when I work with my dancers and with Nick, we latch on to cells, or we latch on to fragments that really embody the subject matter. And then we grab that fragment and we build the rest of the piece from there. Because the more I understand about it, the more I realise that the now is the most important thing that we have anyway. It's, 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 the answer to life is life. I'm very, very happy and very lucky that we've had the chance to do this. Thank you.